You're pulling my legs, sir. You've never heard of Dicky. Richard Attenborough, Pinky Brown, Brighton Rock. You must have. You wanted a recording of my voice. Well, here it is. What you want me to say is, I love you. Keep in mind that we're here to conduct an interview as part of a murder investigation, not an article for Sight and Sound magazine, yes? Yes, sir. Come in, darling. Expect to stop, huh? I say, a real life detective. Scotland Yard and everything. And you are. <laughs> this is Constable Stalker. Yeah. Victim's name is Leo Kopernik, sir. Seems he was killed in the costume store. <laughs> deposited here. <laughs> Staged, so to speak. Sorry, sir. How much longer do you intend to hold us all hostage? Or is that the idea? Gather all the suspects and interrogate each of us in turn until the mystery is solved? Marvin Cochranar's overweighted playwright. Celebrated playwright? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I can't read my own handwriting. There was an incident. I'll kill you. <gasps> it's as good as a confession. It's not jump to conclusions, Constable. What do we have here? <laughs> Working late, huh? He killed Kopernik to hush up the affair. Case closed. I'm doing it again, aren't you, sir? Jumping to conclusions. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. You've never heard of Richard Attenborough. A real life detective. I understand that you came to blows the night in question. It was me, Inspector. I arrest you for the murder of Leo no, Cochran. No, no. We have a serial killer on the loose. Please stand back! He keeps the key! Ah! Under the mat. We are no longer merely suspects. We are also potential victims. So what did he do that made you suspicious? It wasn't so much what he did, it was more the way he did it. How did he do it? Sort of... suspiciously. Right. 